Hello everyone and welcome back to some more GT4 Today we are going to be doing the lightweight K-Car Cup and the first thing we're going to need to do is actually buy ourselves a car that is eligible for this competition so of course I've been scanning around looking for some good cars and this one I think is probably the best to use it's only five grand so it's not really that much right so I got the car and I gave it a little oil change and yes I'm recording this before the other ones because I don't want this Suzuki to um, these like go off sale because they're only on sale for a week I don't really want to do play it through and lose it even though I can just force it I don't know I wanted to buy it with you for some reason anyway it's irrelevant but uh, first race on we're at Driving Park Motorland right so we are doing this race again because I was talking to this microphone not looking at the TV and thought it would be a good idea to go off the grass and then lose at one of the last corners of the track which is a real shame but what I was saying was that what was I saying that own brand yeah that was it so we shop at Aldi because we're poor and no it's just because it's cheaper and you know they do like them own brand foods and crisps and stuff well we got some hula hoops alternatives I don't know what they call that Duked crisps or something like that. But um, when we opened them, hula hoops were inside. Actual hula hoops. Uh, I think we uncovered that age old conspiracy. So if they're in that packet, either someone's gone to great effort to open the packet, take all the then crisps out, put in the hula hoops, and then reseal the packet, or they're in the same production line, which is really weird. So what, essentially what you're buying is the same product but for cheaper, so you know, sounds pretty good, not going to lie. So it's just a placebo. So next time you're going shopping, remember to tell your mum and dad it's just a placebo. I'm not, I don't think, well I'm not lying, my dad told me all of this so he might be lying. Might have been a late April Fool's prank or something like that and that was way too heartbreaking there. I don't know, but I, don't, I think it would be a pretty odd lie to come up with in the grand scheme of things. I'm sure there are more interesting lies that you could have said, like a Superman came flying by me and gave me a postcard or something. Something more interesting. But, I don't know. I don't know if he was lying or not. It'd be pretty freaky though if it was true. Because all of that time you're buying them £10, well they're not like £10, like a packet of, a multi-pack of walkers are about, I don't know, like £3 where you go to Audi or something, get your cheap own brand stuff for £2 and you're just getting the exact same. Which is absolutely, I don't know, incredible. I don't know why they would do that. Because they're just making less money. I don't know. But we do in no 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 no. Ah I was just about to say that we overtake it. That corner screwed me up last time. Hopefully we can take it though. This lap provided that I concentrate. It's a second ahead, but we should be able to get closer to it through this corner hit. So take this one really slow. Like that. Oh no, we could take it before. That'd be helpful. And down to two. Two, oh dear. Ah, I don't want to lose now. But oh, these cars are really, really slow as you can tell. Right, inside. Yes, and we do it. Had to use him as a bit of a, a ball there, otherwise we wouldn't really have made that corner at that speed. But I'm not complaining. We got 
But I don't know if we got the win, but we definitely got the lead. And we should keep it. We've now did that turn three. Pretty nefly. Yes, that is a new word. Oh yeah, there we go. First race complete. 40 points. And hardly any money. But money's irrelevant. I don't need this is pennies. But yeah. To the next race. Right. Race number two at Sukuba. And I've been doing this for over an hour now. And I've decided to put a turbocharger on it. Because there's one car that is so much faster than every other car here. And that is the Honda B or the Suzuki Cappuccino. But I've just had enough of it. Call me a cheater. I've had enough of losing for over an hour. This is my 27th, I think, try of this. Some of them I haven't completed, obviously, because I couldn't have done 27 tries. But still, it's kind of rubbish that you got to cheat and put a turbocharger on it in order to win. Because the other cars are so much faster. But we did that turn much better than he did, although we went a bit wide. I'm just going to make it a bit equal. I don't want to be winning for two and a bit of that. Where is he? There he is. So I'm just going to keep up with him. And give him a gentle shove. Give him a gentle push in the right direction. Provided that he doesn't ignore me and drive away from me. use horrible. Going yeah, back to my normal one. Thought I would experiment and try different things. Try new perspectives and angles. Two please, not three. There we go. And the long straight if you could really call it long. This track is so short. It's ridiculous. I d I d I just don't understand why this is a real track. It's just tiny. I don't know why it's used for in real life. You just have to be like really slow cup competitions like this and micros and stuff. Because you can have any GP. Um, why not GP? You know, like race cars there in this. Because the track is so short. It would be ridiculous to do it. But I'm sure. I'm sure Gran Turismo has put a nine hour endurance race of this in, in the endurance event somewhere waiting to be played. But yeah, I will definitely do these uh, endurance races non B spec, A spec, me driving for nine hours, provided that my mummy and daddy let me. It's not the healthiest thing in the world to be doing, but... Oh well. It's for my own personal dignity and gain. I can say, look, I completed GT4. All a spec, aren't I brilliant? And then realise I have no friends. And then start to cry. <laughs> but you're my friend. Everyone's my friend. Well, there we go, across the line with a little bit of drifting for the last bit. So it was more just skidding. Well, that doesn't matter. It sounds cooler if I say drifting. But yeah, that's race number two down. Let's do race number three. 
And now then, race number three is at the beginner course. One of the worst tracks in the game. It's awful. It's boring. It's basically three corners, but you can cut the chicane, but I'm not going to. Unless people get in my way. Or I'm winning. And I just want to speed it up because I'm getting boring. But I'm never boring because I'm brilliant. Uh, hopefully we can win. Well, that... <laughs> That curb corner snap up there. So we got seven laps of this. No idea what they're breaking for. No need. Forced onto the grass. There we go, last corner of this brilliant track. Again, we're getting shoved onto the infield. But we do win. I was thinking of getting a computer for doing this and running. PC PC six two to get better graphics, but computers are so expensive. I got I was say a decent laptop. It's not brilliant. It's an i five. It's a ThinkPad. If you're that interested, but yeah, it's it's not it's not slow. It can run Elgato and Audacity and really complicated tasks. It can run most Steam games, but it just can't run. Gran Turismo 4. Whenever I load it, it just comes up with the white screen. Um, I think the problem is, is my computer runs at 2,400. I think it's hertz or no, it won't be kilohertz. Yeah, hertz, and it needs to be 2.8 kilohertz, I think. So I'm 300 hertz off, and I have no idea what that means because I'm not a computer geek. Although I'm led to believe one. I do like other things than darkness and sweat. But yeah. You know, I was really sad. Because. That's really upsetting when you can't play. Your favourite game in HD 1080p. Just imagine that. There you are hyped up. You're not in Africa or anything. You're not starving. You've got everything you actually need. You've got a decent house. You've got a decent family say decent they were right and they're probably watching this now because they're bored and got nothing else to be doing but he hello mum but yeah that's about it I mean yeah so imagine you got everything like that and you're just really hyped up to play this great game on solid settings on your brand new PC and then you find out that you're 300 Hertz off imagine how gut-wrenching that is not gut-wrenching that's like scary Imagine how saddening that would be. That could lead to depression. Depression leads to self-harm. Self-harm leads to loss of friends. And loss of friends leads to suicide. And all of that because your PC is not good enough. And that's just a downward spiral. Until you reach hell. Which is the lowest part of it all. Not that, you know. I'm a Christian or anything. Not that man. You don't care about my beliefs. I believe that the sky is blue. But that's not a belief, that's a fact, and I have no idea why I said that. As you can see, I'm sort of running out of things to say. So I'll just shut up if you like. But I won't do that. I want to lose my voice, you see. And then... I don't know what that does. But there we go. Last turn of the last race of the last lap of the lightweight K-Car Cup. That took me approximately an hour and a half. I actually do. It's ridiculous. One of the shortest races takes the longest because there's no balancing in this cup. You get really fast cars and really slow cars and I had to find that out the hard way. But yeah, let's see what prize car I win. Yay, isn't that exciting? Cut. Alrighty, so I win a Genesta G4. That's not that bad. I mean, it's slow, but it's cool. It's got really cool arches. I mean, yeah, it's alright. It's got side exhaust, so you know it's really, really cool. Uh, yay! 
that's the lightweight key car cup done. A lot of keys in there. I'll show you my prize car if you're on the edge of your sheet. She seat. Excited. Where is it? Somewhere here. The yellow one. There it is. There you go. What a great, great car. 90 horsepower. I should have just bought one of these, I think, if you can buy one and use that. But that does it for this episode, obviously, because I did what I set out to do and many other things like achieve life and an, an eternal respect from you and get about 2p from ad revenue so that does it for this video if you enjoyed it give me a like please and uh, if you like me as a person then be sure to subscribe we're on my we're on our way to 50 subscribers from recording so if i get to that before this video this little bit at the end becomes a winner but that doesn't matter if you like it give me a like if you, if you like me subscribe and uh, goodbye